want to share something a little cool with you guys. I know you, a lot of you guys are into the shop life of what happens really behind the scenes here at Gargistic. So I thought this was a neat time to show you guys a, a little uh, way that we go from prototyping to production. Um, we sell these E30 rear sway reinforcement blocks and they can be used with your stock sway bar and, and we make all the bushings for it. But some of those bushings are weird sizes because they're factory sizes they are just really small. And nobody sells a replacement OEM unweldable, unmodifiable rear sway reinforcement for an E30. But we do. So we sell this block, but we need to make the sway bar bushings for each one of those things. So how we decided to do that, especially since the volume was so low, is we 3D printed some molds. And uh, we were able to 3D print this on our Stratus. It's a super high-end 3D printer. It can print rubber, it can print all kinds of stuff you guys may have seen in our other episodes. But it was a pretty cool way of being able to release a product that wouldn't exist otherwise. So for example, this is a rear sway block uh, bushing that will basically pump out 22 millimeter sway bar bushings. And you can tell like, I mean, we're even labeling the molds with the printer. It's pretty sick. But how it works is that we'll basically conventionally pour it into each one of these molds, right? And when it's poured, it looks something like that. And then all, uh, you know, one of our guys has to do is push out this middle race right here. And then push up. And then we have the bushing. That would fit just like that. Obviously it requires some cleanup and all that, but um, it's a pretty neat way of doing it. And then once the volume on these things reaches a point, we then take it to our pressure injection machines where we mass produce these things uh, on site as well. So just want to share something cool with you guys for all you nerds uh, like us out there about uh, how we uh, get it done.